Electrostatic potential at a point in the electric field of a source charge is defined as the work done in moving a unit charge from NFT to that point. It is a scalar quantity having unit joule per coulomb dimension formula ML2 T minus 3 A minus 1. When we find a force on the test charge in the external electric field and then find the work in moving the test charge in that external electric field through small distance then it is found that the potential at a point is equal to line integral of electric field. When we substitute the value of electric field that is E is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught cube upon R square then potential at a point comes out to be V equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught cube upon R where Q is the source charge R is the distance of the point at which potential has to be calculated. Potential difference between two point A and B in the electric field is defined as the work done per unit charge to move that charge from one point to another point. Electric potential at a point due to number of charges is the algebra sum of potentials at that point due to individual charges. We will find electric potential at any point at angle theta due to electric dipole. It is equal to V equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught P vector dot R vector upon R cube where P vector is the dipole moment and R vector is the position vector of electric potential. On the axis line theta is 0. So potential at any point on the axis lines comes out to be V equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught P upon R square. On the equatorial line theta is 0 so potential at any point on the equatorial lines comes out to be 0. It means no work has to be done to move a test charge on the equatorial line. We can easily prove that electric field is conservative in nature by taking the line integral of electric field along closed path which comes out to be 0. Electric field is equal to negative of potential gradient. We also find electric potential due to uniformly charged thin shell at the point outside the cell on the surface of the cell and inside the cell. A surface which has same potential at every point is called equipotential surface. No work is done to move a test charge over equipotential surface. Electric field is always normal to equipotential surface. Equipotential surface indicate the reason of strong or weak electric field. Two equipotential surfaces cannot intersect each other because if they do so then at point of intersection there will be two direction of electric fields which is not possible. Electric potential energy due to system of point charges is defined as the total work done in bringing the test charges to their respective location from infinity. For a system of two point charges potential energy is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q1 q2 upon r where r is the distance between two point charges. Electric potential energy of an electric dipole of dipole moment p vector placed in uniform external electric field E is equal to negative of p vector dot e vector now some important numericals When a conductor is placed in an external electric field, then its free electron experiences a force. They start drifting toward the opposite end of the conductor, therefore induced electric field is set up in the conductor. This electric field opposes the further movement of the electrons. In equilibrium, these two electric fields are equal. So no net electric field exists inside conductor. Electric field at the surface of a charged conductor is equal to sigma upon epsilon, where sigma is the surface charge density. We know that electric field inside a conductor is zero. Therefore, to protect a sensitive instrument, it is enclosed inside a hollow conductor. This process is known as electrostatic shielding. The non-conducting material which do not have free electrons are called dielectrics. A non-polar dielectric have zero dipole moment in absence of external electric field. Polar molecules have dipole moment, but different molecules have different actions. So net dipole moment is zero in absence of external electric field. When a dielectric slab is placed in an external electric field then it gets net dipole moment and this process is called polarization. Reduced electric field exists inside dielectric slab. The ratio of external electric field to reduced electric field intensity on placing the dielectric slab in the external electric field is called dielectric constant. The induced dipole moment developed per unit volume of the dielectric slab is called polarization density. The ratio of magnitude of polarization vector to epsilon naught times the reduced electric field inside the dielectric is called electric susceptibility. 1 plus electric susceptibility is equal to dielectric constant. The maximum electric field that can be applied to a dielectric without its electric breakdown is called dielectric strength. The ability of a conductor to store a charge or energy is called electric capacitance. Capacitance depends upon size and shape of the conductor medium in which conductor is placed, nature of conductor in surrounding. It is a scalar quantity having unit farad. 1 farad is equal to 1 coulomb per volt. For a spherical conductor, capacitance is equal to 4 pi epsilon naught r, where r is the radius of the conductor. The capacitance of earth is 0.711 microfarad. An arrangement used for storing large amount of charge is called capacitor. It is based on the principle that when an earthen uncharged conductor is placed near a conductor then the capacitance of the conductor increases. The capacitance of parallel plate conductor with plate area A separation between plate D is given by C is equal to epsilon naught A upon D. 
when a dielectric slab of dielectric constant k is placed between the plates of a capacitor then its capacitance become k times the original value when capacitors are connected in series then net capacitance decreases and when capacitors are connected in parallel net capacitance increases energy stored in a capacitor is given by half cv square where c is the capacitance v is the potential difference energy density that is energy per unit volume is given by half epsilon not e square where e is the electric field between the plates of the capacitor some important numericals 